So there's a lot of Pokemon apps and new stuff about Pokemon games. We're going to talk about it and get down to it. Alright, so what's up guys? I don't care, last time I did it wrong, I don't care. No, no, you're fine, you're fine, you're good. <laughs> Keep going. Right. Don't stop. All right, guys. What's up? This is Ted, and I'm with... Man, I'm Josh. And we're here to talk about Pokemon stuff. Yay! So, we held out on a lot of stuff that was before about the apps. So, we're going to talk about the apps first, and then we're going to get into all the new stuff for Pokemon Sword and Shield and stuff. That we're going to get into the real good stuff. That game, yeah. I, that game I can't play. <laughs> okay. gonna because for some reason, if he refuses down, to buy a Nintendo Switch. If you guys look in the link to the Switch, we got to go for me to get my <laughs> <laughs> So if you guys please subscribe, you'll have the crispiest of content. Yep. <laughs> so yeah, then yeah. you will actually be able to know half of what we talk about from here on. Yeah, out. right. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna talk about the app. So there were uh, there was a Nintendo Direct. No, there wasn't even a Nintendo Direct yet. There was no, it a it conference. Was, there was, was a there conference about future Pokemon stuff, and in that conference uh, that was there before the Nintendo Direct. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, what they announced was three different apps, and I guess, I guess would you call, I don't think, I think Pokemon Home, it is an app, yeah. So, the first thing yeah, no, for the app is um, coming out, it goes with Pokemon Go, it's called Pokemon Sleep. Yeah. And basically, just like how you walk around and get stuff for being active in Pokemon Go, now you'll get stuff for going to sleep for how much time you stay asleep. And now I won't be able to sleep ever again. And <laughs> And so, in the sense of that, is that you have to buy another thing, Gizmo, for it. If yeah. You well, you have to buy something for it? Yeah. It's, yeah. it's basically like the, the Pokemon Go Plus thing, but it's built specifically for the Sleep app. It's called Pokemon Plus What Plus. the fuck does it do? It's called, po- it's called, I think it's It called does everything the original Pokemon Plus does, but it also tracks what needs to be tracked during sleep. What does it track? I'm asleep. <laughs> your the, sleep hours. Your heart vitals and... Uh, what the... F- what? I need... <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna have, have, am I wearing this thing? <laughs> it's going to have a little prod that goes into your wrist? <laughs> Dude. How They're going to label how you? How else are they going to know you're asleep? You could just be laying there. And <laughs> when I stop fucking moving with my phone, they should know I'm asleep. <laughs> you can stop moving without your phone being away. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, yeah. So, it's a Pokemon. They didn't really tell you what you'll get from it. You'll get rewards and stuff from it. Yeah. And they weren't very specific. I think I think they said that it it's called the Pokemon Plus Plus something something. It's like it's a dumb name. And um yeah, so that's basically all the information we got on it. And then you get rewards from they didn't say what rewards for the longer you sleep, you know, it's just it's just Fucking another Pokeballs. You, you Fucking Sinnoh stones, hopefully. <laughs> God. Actually I've never had a problem getting Sinnoh stones. How many do you have? Like twelve. What the fuck? <laughs> you're fucking lying. You're full of shit. Okay, I don't have 12 anymore because I used, like, half no, of them. No, you're full of There's shit. There's not even 12. I've gotten two my whole fucking life. <laughs> I still have the one. I've gotten, like, ten. I shit you not. I only have one. Where do you get them from? I just randomly. I usually get them from uh, gifts from friends. You gotta remember, Josh has a car, so he can drive anywhere and just fucking spend the time. No, I don't actually get them from the Pokestops. I usually get them from gifts from friends. You can't get them from, from, get them from Pokestops. Oh. You yes, gotta, you can. That's where I got mine from. Yeah, you can. The Sinnoh Stone. You yes. can get you can get them from Pokestops. You can get them from uh, raid battles. I no, because I think you're only supposed to, you can only get them from battles with friends. You um, can get, yeah, you can get them from battles with friends, and you get them from the gifts from friends. Oh, this is battle each other. We did that. I think that's how we got our second well, one. Yeah, let's go. Anyways, <laughs> not right now. <laughs> Why not? He wants to. Because we're in the middle of something. I could do two things at once. So no, you can't. You can barely handle the one thing. So, anyways, <laughs> Let me open all these so yeah, so the second <laughs> app that's coming out is one that we briefly got. Um, I got gameplay for it. It's called Pokemon Masters. From the gist of the gameplay, it looks good. I don't know if you guys seen it. It looks really, it looks really good. It did look tight. It looked fresh as hell. Yeah, it looked really Everybody good. Wants to be a master. And basically, yeah. in that one, you have all the Pokemon gym leaders and Elite Four and champions, basically. It was in Japanese. All so the iconic know. trainers. Yeah. So it's show, a Pokemon so Battle show, Royale. So they started Pokemon the, Battle Royale. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so the, it looked like there was Pokemon battling. They used the Pokemon for that they were known to have, like Cynthia Garchomp. And Game Freak, I just Cynthia had a Garchomp? Oh yeah, Cynthia did have Garchomp. You're, you're right. right. You're right. You're right. They learned how to fly. In what? In the anime. Yeah, because Cynthia Garchomp can fly. Oh, fuck. I didn't know that She's that good of a trainer. 
<laughs> but yeah, so that's coming out this year. Pokemon Sleep, I think, has I think it's next year. I think Pokemon Masters is the only thing coming out this year. Yeah, yeah, said, I think it's the only one due out by the end of this year. Yeah, it said it said that, yeah by the end of this year. Not even by the end. It says sometimes it's middle of the year. Like, this this year. So yeah. yeah. But all the others are not due out until next year at the earliest. Yes. And the next one, which is going to be hard for me to explain because I, it was hard for me to tell everyone about it. It's called Pokemon Home. And if you, uh, Pokemon Home is basically the new cloud service that connects to Pokemon Bank, which was the first cloud service to put your Pokemon from all the 3DS titles. And then now you can get all the 3DS titles and the stu- like stuff from like not 3DS. Yeah. No. Well, well, because you can do, you can do Game Boy into the DS ones, DS ones into Pokemon Bank, from yeah. Pokemon Bank into your 3DS, 3DS into Pokemon Bank. Yeah. And now everything from Pokemon Bank could be transferred to Pokemon Home. Oh, yeah. And to Pokemon Sh- Sword and Shield, and also that includes Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and stuff that could be transferred to Pokemon Home as yeah, well. Yeah. That's the only. That's going to yeah. be the only way you can get your your Pokemon that you want from. Uh, let's go Pikachu and let's go Eevee yes. into Sword and Shield. Yes. Damn. So that's a new, it's a new basic, and it's also a phone app. From what, if I get the gist of it, we could trade through the app if we have your. Yeah. Your, it, yeah. So that's pretty cool. Oh, and it works with Pokemon Go as yeah, well. Yeah. But Pokemon oh, Go is only one yeah. way. Yeah. Yeah. So that's pretty cool how they did that. I thought that was pretty cool. Because, um, I remember a time where Nintendo didn't want to do anything with phone apps. They didn't want to do anything. Well, like, now they're doing all the shit. Yeah, with now, apps. yeah, because because yeah. the guy, the head of Nintendo, I forgot his name. He um he's the one who put, took the pay cut for uh the Wii U because yeah. the Wii U thing. I forgot his name. God bless his soul. <laughs> um, yeah, he. I th- wait, is he passed away? Yeah, he's the one that passed away. Yeah, he's he the one that passed away. Yeah, water. Yeah, yeah. He uh when the new guy came, he was just like, yeah, I want to make you know basically. The, animes i want like the phone apps you know because he knew that phone apps were like a thing so yeah so at a time point in time that there was like nintendo never wanted to do anything like that now you see them doing a lot of stuff like that and now they're doing it for the mm-hmm. games as well yeah. so that's pretty cool that they're doing that and um like i said if you don't know what pokemon home is it's just like pokemon bank it's just where you can store all your pokemon transfer them keep them there or i throw pokemon i really don't want in there you know just to have them yeah. it's pokemon bank on steroids yeah and it's just like a whole it's just, like yeah, that it's new it's trainer just, from uh, <laughs> from Sword and Shield. <laughs> yeah, it's just it's just a new Pokemon Bank. It's where you yeah. put all your Pokemon in. Uh, hopefully, hopefully they have more space than Pokemon Bank did. I mean, Pokemon Bank did have a lot of space, but I think it was still finite. I would imagine it'll probably yeah. be close to infinite. From, yeah, I, yeah. I hope so. From from what I know, I know especially I, if it's a paid fucking service. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. I don't yeah. know if it will be. Well, Pokemon Pokemon, Pokemon Bank, Bank is four ninety nine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, and that's for could, a year though. That's still could, good. They could though be looking to uh, use home to actually replace bank because I mean, with with the new set of Pokemon games coming out, there really isn't going to be a need to have it. Well, at some it's point, it's everybody's still going to want to be able to get Pokemon from their old games into their new yeah, games. Yeah, right. And I can understand that, but yeah. I mean, eventually, at some point, oh, yeah, they're going to phase it out. I forgot to mention, you, once you transfer your Pokemon from Pokemon Bank. To home, you can't send home right. to back. So yeah, so it's yeah. a one-way yeah, transfer. So, it's a one-way so transfer. Pokemon from Go. bank to home is one way. From Pokemon Go to home is one way. Yeah. yeah. The only ones that could go back and forth, I think, are let's go to home. No, no. no. Let's, let's go, go only one way. One also? way as yeah. well. So everything okay, except okay. for sword except and for shield, sword and shield and is going to be one way. The future titles. The future titles. Yeah. 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 So basically, anything you load into sword and shield, you can transfer back to home, mm-hmm. but. Mm-hmm. Anything else? Uh, so anything from your 3ds, anything from uh, uh, Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, Ow. and let and Pokemon Go, uh, you will not be able to send back. Yeah. So that's basically what they talked about. There was other stuff about Muzi and stuff, but we talked about that in another video, anyways. But he, he's, they just talked about how good Detective Pikachu did. Yeah. And stuff, and how um, that was the first Hollywood basically thing it's basic that's basically it what they talked about we're talking about uh-huh. just the main things with the way the app game the app stuff but now we can go into um the console game for short sword and shield shortly after a couple of days later i think june 5th they had a nintendo direct where they showed new pokemon a new in-depth look into the region mm-hmm. that was touched on more because uh, it had more shading and more you know better stuff to show basically it was everything that we needed to know that we can't wait until november yeah, yeah. and then they showed <laughs> off new characters as well so how we're going to do this one is that we're going to talk about the characters the pokemon 
the region and then s- other stuff that we might have left out that we need to talk about later. So, about the character, how do you guys feel about the characters they show? We could talk about the one they showed at E3 because they showed some stuff from E3. Oh, we could talk about mechanics too because there's a new mechanic as well. Yeah, there's uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. new, yeah, new mechanics and also returning mechanics from like Let's Go. Yeah, so we could we talk. Weren't expecting. Yeah, so we could talk about the characters. So, how do you guys feel about the characters? Nessa is my wife. Nessa, Nessa, yeah, Nessa's the that's new my water, wife. the water generator they showed from. Um, Good luck with that. E3. My wife. Do, you, do you know about you know about uh, all the stuff going on about her? Which one? That um she's a she, she's on Twitter um someone because if you notice it goes like goes into race because we know like a lot the the champion which we'll talk about shortly he's um he's like dark yeah, he's brown yeah he's brown yeah. right and so is Ness Nessa and someone on Twitter posted it like oh hey and they added Nintendo out it was hey here I I fixed Nessa and they like. Did the shading different and made her white? And like everybody was flipping out about that. Yeah, well, cause it, it's it's it, it's bound to happen because they they do that all every fucking time. Nintendo makes a fucking like person of color character. Yeah, but like you also gotta realize that like uh, most of the characters in Pokemon are Japanese. Yeah, they're not white. This is, yeah, so they're yeah. not white. Just like anime, like anime yeah. make the character like no, they're Japanese. <laughs> yeah, this, these are Japanese people. Like, yeah. you'll know when they're American, because they only speak in English, yeah, and they say they say shit like, Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that's that's them. You like you know. Yeah, uh, yeah it's, I don't know, people do that all the fucking time. I don't know why yeah, they do But I don't know why there, there, so there was cool. another thing that people were upset about, too. A not, it, that's, racism is not exclusive to Americans. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah. Ja- <laughs> Jap- Japan can be racist, and, and this, this is the thing that people were talking about that does make sense, is that every time... <laughs> every time <laughs> you scared me with those things I swear <laughs> every time uh, every time Nintendo makes like uh, a, a girl character who's like darker skin she's always wearing like skimpier clothes than like anybody else would be wearing mm-hmm. like for this game comparison would be the um, like the pseudo rival like uh, professor assistant girl yeah like that's like that's yeah, another girl and then and then you see Nessa and Nessa's of course like wearing like a like it, it's it makes sense for her to kind of wear it because it's supposed to be like an Olympic looking swimsuit, mm-hmm. kinda, but still like it's still a lot of skin, especially for the region they're in. Like if they were in like freaking um yeah like the I, like the Hawaii one. What's what's that Alola? If they were in like the Alola region, that makes sense. But they're supposed to be in like London. It's supposed to be fucking cold in there. Yeah, but she's a water gym leader, so you know I kind of sense yeah, that. Yeah, it does make sense. Like Have you ever heard of the polar bear swimming club? Oh God, yeah, I did. That scares the shit out of me. <laughs> yeah. So bunch yeah. of naked old people jumping in freezing cold temperature yeah, water. Oh my god, how do they not die? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so yeah, Nessa's a new character. Yeah, she's pretty cool. She's good. I like her. I like her a lot. She's very like I love how she has blue in her hair. It's so cool. And she got blue eyes. Yeah, she does. She sort of reminds me of um of the 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 um, Team Aqua grunt. That was like the second in command, if you remember. Yeah, because that's gold, yeah. They, she does look. She looks like a her. Oh, uh, Mega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. Yeah, she does yeah. look kind of like like her kind of. Yeah. Um, so, and then they also uh, introduced your rival, which is Hawk. He looks cool. I like how he... he looks like a chill dude. Uh, yeah, I like how he What's looks. What's his name again? Hop. Hop. H-O-P. Hop. Yeah, Hop. And uh, it's pretty, he's pretty cool, because I like, what I like about him is like he, how casual he looks. You know what I mean? He he just looks cool, compared to like... Well, that's, that's what most of the rivals look like now, kind of. They, yeah. They're all just like chill. Urban, yeah. They're just like, yeah. So, are we going to have the option to change his name, or is it going to be like the last one where we can't... Yeah, probably. What was the last one? What was the last rival's name? I don't know. Sun and Moon? I, I don't remember what, what, what was the rival's name. How? Oh, yeah. You're right. Yeah. That was your rival. Yeah. I think it's better. I mean, I like how they I just forgot he was a rival. I thought he was just like my bro. I'm like, yeah, how? What's yeah, up? Yeah, he basically is your bro. <laughs> yeah. You know, in, in the, the thing about that, Sun and Moon, is that they say that your main your character you play is your rival, and how is the is supposed to be your character. He's the protagonist. Yeah. That you just, that, yeah, that's how they. We're the rival. Oh shit! Yeah, that's how the theory of that goes. That's, but yeah, so we see Hop. He's pretty cool, you know. He's the um, brother of the champion, which we could segue into that because. Is he? Yeah, he's the youngest oh, okay. brother of Leon, who's the champion. I'm not gonna lie, my favorite champion is Cynthia, but this dude, he looks fresh as hell. Uh, and I'm sorry though, with uh, coming back to the names real quick, you know, it, I think I think the parents gave up after naming Leon. Yeah, why does Leon really, get a they cool go, ass name? Leon and then Hop. <laughs> like, what the fuck? They had no faith in this boy. <laughs> yeah. 
from so, day one. <laughs> yeah, so Leon's a champion, and he has um, he has the robe, which is like you know it looks like it's well, it's not a robe, not it's a robe, it's a cape, it's a cape, but you know it's it looks, got fucking sponsors on the but, back. Yeah, which is cool because like his whole thing revolves about sponsors. Yeah, well, because uh, and 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 just like the, the the interesting thing is that like gym battles are like an event. Like, yeah. you're in the fucking stadium to see these things. Like, yeah. And that's kind of, that's interesting because that's kind of like the, what the show kind of gave you the idea for yeah. a lot of stuff is that, like, people come and watch Pokemon Battles, you know? Like, that's yeah. the thing. And then we finally get to, like, see that and, like, be a part of that. It's, yeah, and then it the feels show, you cool. have an entire freaking tournament instead yeah. of just the Elite Four. Yeah. Yeah, and so, like, it's cool to actually see that play out for once, you know? And this is the first Pokemon champion that I've ever seen that they officially said he's never been defeated in an official Pokemon battle, which is now going to be not true because we're, yeah, we're Obviously, a warrior. Stomp his ass. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, if we lose, we just go back to the last save point and try again. Yeah, so basically, yeah, uh, and they say he's, um, he has peerless skill, made him extremely popular, so he's popular all around, just like how, um, how, um, Alder was. I think that's his name. From, uh, fifth gen? The guy with the orange hair who was like... Was that X and Y? No. That's or Black and White. Black and White. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. the guy with the... Um, I never actually finished Black Blue and White, so I don't know. I played Black too. You meet him, like, in the, like the very first... In the yeah. beginning of the game, yeah. It's been such a long time but since he was I played po- it. He was popular, too. Everyone loves him, so this is sort yeah. of, like, the same thing. It wouldn't the, play this, right this on is, my... This is the first, um... This is the first time they gave a, uh, a, a champion a starter that wasn't from... That generation. I don't think any of the champions have had a starter. Well, some of them did, like Blue, like when he was the champion. Oh fuck, yeah, I don't count him. Like when he, the champions he, are, when the champion ends up being only a champion if they could defend their title once. He got yeah. it and lost to me. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. So when <laughs> the, the champion, when, when the champion, <laughs> when the champion is like your rival, they have one of the starters. Yeah. Uh, but this this time this guy just has a fucking Charizard. He yeah. just has it. Yeah. And has that's it. like his main Pokemon. It, it yeah. kind of appears to be. You yeah, because it was back to, like, chilling. Like, hey, I'm here. Like, what's up? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <laughs> so, yeah, so Leon's the champion. Then we can talk about Professor Magnolia. I forgot the fuck she looks like already. <laughs> she looks like an old lady. Does she? Br- she oh, because that's... that's British old lady. That's what's-her-face's mom. The, 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 the assistant is her... The, grand, is her, the, the grandma. Uh, gra- yeah, right, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so it says here that Professor Magnolia is a permanent Pokemon professor. She's investigating Dynamax, which is the new... The new fucking mechanic. The new mechanic, which we'll talk about later. And um, basically her assistant is her granddaughter, like Manuel said. And her name is Sonia. And she was the rival to Leon and also her childhood friend. So that's, I don't even know how old they could be because she doesn't look that... She looks like she'll be like... She's, a, she looks like she's an adult. Yeah. So I don't know how... Well, well when, you, when you start your fucking... Her. Your adventure, you're like 12 or something. 11. Yeah. It, 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 it varies. So there... So at first it was 10. Yeah. <laughs> now you can... Well, it, goes, it, it is different from region to region, supposedly. Yeah. Uh, I think this one is the same. Like, I think it's 10 or 11. Mm-hmm. So they... If they were childhood friends, they could just be, like, barely 18. Well, I thought the only one... The only one that had an older age than all the rest was uh, the Unova region. Yeah, X and Y. Where they started at, you know, uh, Black gen. White. Oh, is, yeah. that, is that Black and White? What's, yeah. what's X and Y's region? Uh, Kalos. Oh, Kalos. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so black right. and white. But yeah, I thought Unova was the only one that had uh, an older start age at mm-hmm. sixteen. Yeah, because um, that's in black and white too, huh? I think. I think it's in both. I don't know. I remember black and white too because they say you're. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't know. The, Maybe yeah. they don't sp- specifically state it in the in the first ones. Yeah. But I mean, you definitely your character looks much older than mm-hmm. in, you know normal. Yeah. So. Yes, yeah, so son is a granddaughter, and she's basically her bio says she's top four and whatnot. But then she's again, these the the kids in this one, the, from what we've seen, they they look like they're you know at least teenagers. Well, cause yeah. it's because the art style changed. Because yeah, you're made them taller. We're used to like the the little short little fucking. But I mean, icons in in uh, um, I mean in Pokemon Go, uh, let's go Pikachu and Eevee, and then of course Sun and Moon. You actually looked like a little kid. Yeah. You didn't look like you were fourteen, fifteen. Yeah. You look like you could pass for the ages of 10 to 12. Mm-hmm. So those those are the characters. Is there anybody else? That's that's basically all these teams are. I'm, I'm looking at the... And the, 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 some of the, the other gym leaders, the grass one. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. They didn't mention them in the characters. Roy Child. The goofy looking one. Oh, right here. Team leader's environment. Okay, nice. 
so yeah, he went Milo. 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 Uh, the Milo. Gen- one of the gym leaders, he's kind heart and well liked by trainers in the gym. He's probably like the first one. Yeah, he's a great. He specializes in gas pipe, and this dude's swole oh, as fuck. Oh, then I'll get through that first gym leader. And he's swole as fuck. <laughs> that dude's buff with the fucking nine year old face. That's what I steroids know, that's will do to you. Hilarious. I think I I still do like his design, even though it's silly looking. Cause I, yeah, he, oh, and because that's just Pokemon. That's just how it's worked. That's yeah. what steroids will do to you. Yeah. So, and then Nessa's a beautiful goddess. Yeah, we already. Yeah. Uh. That. Yeah. So that's all the characters so that's, far that we've seen. Yeah. So I'm, unless I'm, I get an electric type early, I'll have I'll have some issues against her. Do I? I can't. I can't wait. Get that corgi. So yeah, so let's so, talk about the new Pokemon. Let's talk about so the there's new a Pokemon. Corgi. Yeah, so, so what's at E three at E three at the demo they played, they um his name is Yamper. Yamper. And he's an electric corgi and he's so fucking cool. He can evolve. So Oh he better be just a bigger corgi. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure he'll be a bigger corgi. And then that um, or like a bloodhound or something. I forgot. No, he needs to stay a corgi. Yeah, I hope he needs so. to chill though. Fuck out. No. Yeah, because that... that it, that's his only appeal. Yeah, he, that's what got me. He's a fucking corgi. We have enough fucking, like, regular-ass dogs. I want a corgi. <laughs> and then, and then, um, Give they, me a dachshund. And the other E3... <laughs> and the other E3 Pokemon, that I forgot. It's an imp. He's oh, that standard. thing looks fucking ugly. He looks so cool, though. I mean, it look, it, it His look, typing is interesting, but he looks... Dark Fairy, the first he looks like a fa- He looks like a Digimon, honestly. <laughs> he doesn't yeah. look like a Pokemon. Yeah. So, he... Doesn't look much. There's no inf- these Pokemon have no information yet, really. Except for their types. Yeah, other than the types, yeah, electric and then dark fairy. He's a dark fairy, yeah. Yeah, but there's no bio for them on the website or anything because it's just you know it's supposed to be like, hey, look what we got here. So, throughout the Pokemon we do have info on are the ones that were from the um, direct. The first one, yeah. Which is um, Wulu. Wulu, yeah, everyone's fan favorite right now. Everybody's Gossip Fleur. Sorry. Gossip Fleur. Uh, to the evolution, El- Elder Goss. Corviknight. Corviknight. That's my Dreadnought. boy right there. Dread, I'm going to say the Dreadnought and Corviknight were probably the two coolest Pokemon. Now, which yeah. one's Corviknight? Corviknight's the, the, the fucking the, the raven. raven. Oh, okay, yeah. The, he, he's fucking... The cool armored he's looking a, yeah, Flying steel. Flying steel type. Fucking black Seven knight. foot tall. Yeah, that's this my boy. Is huge. Yeah, his wingspan's probably like fucking like 20 feet. Seven. He's 7'3". Seven <laughs> fucking... Dude, it, it's just so cool to have something like that. Yeah. He's called he's his he's called the Lord of the Skies. Now, which one's the blue and what is it? Yellow turtle? Dreadnought. Dreadnought. Yeah. yeah. So he's gonna be what? Rock water? Yes. Let me double check. I'm pretty sure he's. He's rock. at least water, cause cause Nessa uses him. Uh, water rock. Yeah. And so I reversed. It's the same so, fucking thing. So though. his. <laughs> so what's interesting about him? Since we're talking about him. His, his little entry says, The sharp jagged fangs of the bite Pokemon Dreadnought are strong enough to break through rock and iron. So Ooh. since they're saying that, they're thinking that when he evolves, he might be water still, which is another unique typing. Because we haven't seen... Water yeah, I don't think that's ever M- been Since Empoleon. Yeah. Empoleon was the only one okay. I don't, that I can remember. Yeah, so it's a unique typing as it is, and it's just defensive, and you're already fucked as it is. But he, he could be like... You know, it's be unique. He's to gonna see. be everybody's tank. Yeah, I'm, yeah. So it's gonna be pretty. It's pretty interesting because at this point, there has to be some type of unique. His his, his unique like typing. Because water rock is cool. Don't get me wrong, but we have. But a, it's fucking weak as shit to grass. Yeah. So you get, water's still, get hit with a fucking laser leaf, you're done. Yeah. You're dead. So unless he's got high HP. No, he could. He could. He could have high HP if he still. I mean, with a with a body built like that, he's probably going to be. And it doesn't help that a tank type Pokemon. It doesn't help that he is four times weaker than it. So. Yeah. Yeah, I mean that does. I mean, so unless you do have him high level with really high HP, he's gonna get screwed over quick he's if he ends like, up in a. He's gonna have, cause and then and then the way it works too is that Pokemon that have higher defenses usually only have high of one defense and then yeah. a lower version of the other. Yeah. So he's he's gonna be weak to one. Yeah, so, and then, so his abilities are already on here. He's built strong jaw and shell armor, which strong jaw means that he, he's going to have, like, all, mostly all, like, Biting attacks. grunt, crunch, ice fang, psychic fang, if they even give it to him. Psychic fang? Is that a real one? Yeah. I think I heard that one. Yeah, that's... I do remember ice fang and fire fang. Yeah. So that was pretty cool. And then, Wulu, which is everyone's favorite right now, has a lot of stuff going on about him. He's just basically he's extremely he's stealthy. A fucking sheep. Yeah, he's a sheep. That's what he's he just a sheep. Well, I mean, they're supposed to be in like the UK, like up there, like you know, people 
because yeah. the herd sheep's a third. Yeah. So that makes sense. And then the other two, which are because as for everyone listening, I'm a huge gas type Pokemon guy, but like these two are like it's just they're cotton. They're, it, they do just look like cotton. Yeah. What's it called over again? Yeah, basically, there's nothing really to talk about them. There's no yeah, and a lot of people are like when, I remember watching direct. A lot of people, well, a lot of people were saying that oh he's gonna be grass fairy, but nah, he's just unless he has a third form we don't know about. He's just pure grass type. Even when he evolved into the bigger cotton mm-hmm. form, so he has his ability is regenerated, which is cool. So I wonder how that's gonna fit in. No idea. Yeah. So so that's basically all the Pokemon, right? And then they they really didn't talk any. Oh well, I guess we could mention that um, Score Running has double kick and he can do firefighting. <laughs> <laughs> that's what everyone's fucking talking uh, about. I know. I, I doubt hope, it. I hope not. I feel like I'm so tired. I don't of think it. we need another firefighter. Because I'm gonna be honest, fighting it. type is my favorite type. Like I love all the fighting types. I love like any of the Pokemon that can learn fighting moves. Those are <laughs> almost always my favorite. I'm so tired of firefighting. I feel like I'm so like, tired. I feel like the last Blaziken gen- was the only one we needed. I feel like last gen with um. Incineroar, Incineroar was, was good. Cool. That was so cool. See, they could trick you like that too, because everyone's like, "Oh, he's gonna be a fighting type," but he's want to be like a fire fucking. He's fire dark with. He does dirty boxing. Well, yeah. Well, because there's like a whole somebody like broke it down like as to like what dark type actually is. It's not like it's not like an element. It's just like a it's like a sneaky kind of fighting. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? So like fighting and dark are like opposite sides of the of the same of the coin. Yeah. That's how they explained it. Mm-hmm. So yeah. those are all the Pokemon. So we can go right into the region, which let's talk about the region itself that we've seen. The biggest part we could talk about is the wild areas. It's just one yeah. big open one. Big open world section where you could basically yeah. go anywhere. The Pokemon are seen like in Pokemon Go <laughs> and Pokemon Let's Go where they're uh, walking what, around. What did they call that? Because it's not random encounter anymore. It's um, um I forgot. Uh, <sighs> fuck. It's going to kill me. But yeah, yeah. so it's not random encounter anymore. Uh, you, you, you can see almost everything that's... You but could you encounter. still can encounter there are, Pokemon it's, you can't see. Yeah, it's a it's a semi random encounter. Is yeah. you can go to a a uh, a mark in the grass and then it'll be a Pokemon that you don't know what it is yet. Yeah. But the point is, you're it, when you're walking, you're not just gonna be hit with an encounter out of nowhere. Yeah, you're always you're always gonna see the encounters coming. Yeah, which is, which is pretty cool. Is which is something I did like about Let's Go Pikachu and mm-hmm. Eevee that they were walking around, but I did sort of miss the random yeah encounter. Yeah. And you could battle them too, like in the old game. So that's pretty cool. You so bat- now these battle then the, catch, yeah. They're they're called what wild zones or wild areas? Yeah, the yeah the. Are wild. these replacing routes? From what I know, yeah. Well, I mean, because there's there's no because if you look at the map, the map looks. I mean, it's so long. then are is this the closest we're getting to like a, an open world Pokemon game? Yes, this mm-hmm. is the start of it. I'm pretty sure as more games come out, there might be bigger ones. You know what I mean? Like maybe. Sooner or later, the whole game will be open world. You know what I mean? But yes, this is a good start for them because I'm pretty sure they they should have been having something like this. But but yeah, this is basically what it is because the whole wild area thing is that it's connected by to every other place. Yeah, it's just like yeah. Yeah, so there's like a big fucking valley, and then on all sides of it are the towns. And yeah, stuff. and they said you'll be going through there more than once through the story, so you'll be able to see a bunch yeah. of the Pokemon. The so in- then, are we gonna end up with like uh, missions on directing us where to go? Or well, probably. I'm pretty sure the obstacles are gonna be like, yeah. oh, well, you can't you, get over yeah, this water, or you, you know. gotta climb up this thing, or right. you know, you need a bike to get through here, or some yeah. shit like that. It's gonna be shit like that. Yeah, you can turn the camera around too, which is pretty cool. To That's true, the, but only in only in the wild, wild areas, area, yeah. from where I understand. Well, yeah, it's pretty cool. So the camera's still gonna be the, fixed when you're inside city. In, in yeah. the Nintendo Direct, and they showed it that this was the that music they had in the background when they the the ah uh, the, the like the fucking thing they did yeah. when they showed it. It was just so amazing to see, and it switch it switches seasons like it's like raining, yeah. It's sunny. And so I I I think they said that it's gonna happen in like real time. You know, like I I don't know if it's gonna like. Like be like Pokemon Go is like it generates the weather based on where you are, mm-hmm. but they said that like oh when you come back to an area later the weather will change. Yeah, so I think it's gonna be like like a s- semi real time. Yeah, yeah, and the and the weather is going to influence the Pokemon that the, show up. The yeah. Pokemon that thunderstorms appear. will have electric Pokemon. Raining will have water. Um, dust storms will have the ground, the rocks, and then. 
which kind of makes sense stuff. too, because I mean, if you look in the anime, you know, Pokemon are not limited to a specific route. Yeah, mm-hmm. they're just everywhere. You know, they're just everywhere, and you know, you do tend to see more during certain weather conditions. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool because the whole route thing is cool as well. I mean, there's still gonna be routes where you can catch Pokemon, but it won't be like the wild area. Now, what would be thing. really cool though is if they ended up bringing back the feature that they added in the last one um because you remember in uh let's go pikachu and eevee after you beat the elite four the first time Mm -hmm. you actually gain the ability to ride certain pokemon oh yeah and i mean that's what's that was in sun and moon too is that that's how you got through right but well in in that one you had to select which one but this one is like you actually you You for like for instance you take yeah you take out charizard oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. to follow you and you actually hop on them, and you can fly all over the route. And it was another way for you. You can actually random encounter legendaries you've already caught. Yeah. yeah. So it actually was I, possible I to. I don't think they're going to do that again. Because yeah. cause Let's Go was like a super casual game. Like super, super But, casual. I mean, I could see them opening up something like that after you've beaten the main game to get around yeah, certain areas faster. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that, it's pretty unique how that is. And it's really exciting. Just because as, a, as like a player, it's as long as I've been playing, it's just cool to see that in a, in a game on consoles for once. Yeah. You know, other than Let's Go, blah, blah, blah. But <laughs> like, like I was saying about that, uh, you know, with a game that's pretty close to open world, you know, you're not going to be wanting to sit there and run around all over the place. Yeah. Like, yes, initially you are because you wanna, you're wanna you going to want to catch as many Pokemon as you can. But yeah, but, I mean, there's not as many places to explore because it's just one big open area, so you're going to, like, pick... Like, there's going to be, like, the fly mechanic, whatever that's going to be. It's like, just teleport to whatever town you want to get to as close as you want to the area you want to be to catch whatever you want to catch or whatever for the end game. Because, really, there's no reason to go through the field after you've been through it, really. I don't think, I mean, unless they add more Pokemon to it after you, like, beat the champion or whatever, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's most likely how it is, too, like, once you open it up, more different Pokemon. Maybe they'll give you, like, a, an extra area to explore after you beat the champion. Yeah, they're, they're like also, like like Mount Silver and yeah, and, and that one and Gold and Silver. They also said that um, throughout your journey, because if you if you look at the the trailer, mm-hmm. like you can see them like a Gyarados in the water with the Milotic, right? They said that knowing that those Pokemon are pretty high for you to see, if you try to encounter it, it'll say you encountered a pretty, a pretty like strong Pokemon. You can't catch this Pokemon mm-hmm. because. In reality, if you take your starter to go fight against a Gyarados, you're gonna fucking like you're gonna fucking gonna die. So it's pretty yeah. cool how they they didn't take that away because they could easily say, "Oh, let's not show them that till they're ready." You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. They're they're there, which is like the real world of Pokemon. They'll be there, but you just can't catch it because you're not there yet. So it's basically yeah, no it's pretty cool that they did that. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's basically that's yeah the world. Uh, we haven't seen any new towns yet. We just seen the basic ones. That yeah, we just seen the Coliseum. Yeah, the Coliseums. We Stadium seen like the city, a city. We seen like a factory. We seen like a desert. You know, so we haven't really got any yeah. main locations yet. Yeah, but just well, there the, is, there is. We know there's a town that's based on, like, ah, fuck. What are they called? Because they they showed like the little drawings. Like the oh, big, yeah, the yeah, big yeah. ass drawings in the, mm-hmm. in the on the on the side of the, the hill or whatever. The there, there's like a town that's like based on a real town. Yeah, where those are. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they talked about that. Um, the first time, yeah, when they first time they showed it, yeah, that's pretty. It's pretty cool that they. That's did cool. That. I want a Stonehenge area. I want <laughs> to see the aliens. That would be cool. <laughs> you and aliens. Yeah. Dude, that'll be a legendary though. I mean, legendary alien area. Yeah. And you've already catch a catch a cliff fairy. Then you've there's already, your alien right there. We've already done it with Deoxys. And fucking jirachi or whatever but i want another one <laughs> yeah so that's that's the, the region itself because like i said that was a big part of the direct that mm-hmm. the open world thing um i guess we can go to mechanics because there was a mechanic in that open world thing which is um dynamaxing is the new thing <coughs> yeah yeah so my opinion on dynamaxing i'm actually like not impressed by a lot it. of people are not yeah, yeah. No, like not comparative because comparatively it isn't as cool. It's not as cool as Z moves, which I know people didn't like, and it's not as cool as Mega Evolutions, which I know a lot of people did like. And it's just like creatively, it's it's just kind of bland. Like it's like, oh, the Pokemon get big. Mm-hmm. That's it. Yeah. You know, I I don't understand it. <laughs> I don't yeah. I don't get it. 
it seems too simple. It seems I don't know. Unless unless they add like some more flavor to it, I don't I don't think it's gonna be that interesting to explore. Yeah, like for me, I mean, like like I said, like I told you guys earlier, this is replacing Mega Evolution and Z moves. They're not in this mm-hmm. game. Yep. They strictly said that they're not in this game, and that's probably because of what Z moves and Megas did for the game in general. Like I, we talked about. It's just that how a lot of people, some people like Mega Evolution was cool. I love Mega Evolution, but I can I can easily say that some Mega Pokemon were too Mega, like they were just broken in yeah. a sense. So like, now are they not going to even be unlockable post game? Nope, not in the game at all. Oh wow! And Z moves, I'm, I'm glad Z moves are gone. Yeah. <laughs> but but yeah, so this is like because if you took it away, it would have been like a normal Pokemon game. So they had to have a gimmick like they usually do. So, Dynamax which I think they should just stop doing. If this is what we're gonna get, if we're gonna get Dynamax out of it, they, we should just stop looking for gimmicks. Like we should just like just focus on the core. Yeah. Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah. And then they kind of set themselves up with that because Megas were cool. I like the story of them and stuff like that. Me and Josh talked like because it, it like fit with like thematically like what Pokemon is like. Oh yeah, if you're you know if you had this Pokemon for a long time and it trusts you, respects you. You know, you build this bond, and then you can mega evolve when you get the stone. Yeah. You know, that's that's cool. It, it fits with, like, the spirit of it. And Z-moves were kind of similar. It's like, oh, yeah, you and your Pokemon do this fucking stupid-ass dance together. And then they <laughs> do, like, a fucking Kamehameha wave, whatever. <laughs> you know? Like, but this is just like, oh, I shake my Pokeball, and it gets real big. <laughs> and then yeah. my Pokeball's big. Yeah, so, yeah. But um, from what I have heard from it from the thing basically dynamaxing last three turns um i don't know if it has um some pokemon some dynamax pokemon will neutralize the abilities of each player's pokemon or completely reset stat changes if they're attacking so yeah get rid of stat changes so yeah so they have a secondary ability that happens when they dynamax yeah yeah okay i guess that's all right and then the wild Dynamax, like they said, like, oh yeah, so uh, the reason why I segued in this, in the in the wild areas, there's raid battles where you can connect with friends and just like catch your raid Pokemon. And that'll be cool. Team. That sounds cool. And, yeah, that's fine. And um, basically you can catch Pokemon, they're like, like these beacons around everywhere where you can do raid battles. Yeah, that'll be, that, that would be a nice thing. But I feel like the whole reason they did the Dynamax thing was just another... You know, segue to Pokemon Go to try and revive it again. Well, they, they don't do. need to. Yeah, revive they, Pokemon yeah, Go. they don't need. That. They have, it's actually well, it's doing not, really well. Right not, now. Pokemon Go has the user base it needs. It does not need any more it's players. Not, it's not even a. It's not even like a revive thing. It's a money thing because that means they can do toys like that. Or just like the yeah, Pokemon. yeah, absolutely. It's just it's all that's all it is. It's nothing to do with Pokemon. Yeah, Go. Yeah, but I, I but like I said, I think it, I feel it was like a way like, to sit there and go, oh well. You know, we've got the giant Pokemon here in Sword and Shield, but we had it already here in Pokemon Go. Come play the mobile game. They, no, no I, please. They, they haven't talked about it at all. Cause they, no, you, because you don't need to get people to play Pokemon Go. It's fucking obvious to see. Po- Pokemon Go well, Pokemon Go's was so popular that they couldn't handle the server overload. Well, Initially, well, and then they had a lot of drop-off. Well, check this out, Josh, yeah. with, your, with your idea. You, it, it, they said that Dynamaxing was done before raid battles in Pokemon. So this has been in development before that critical idea. Yeah. So this idea was already set in place before that even had a chance. So then was was the raid battling in Pokemon Go that's supposed to be the beta test for how well Dynamax no, cuz cuz Pokemon company didn't come up with that. Mm-mm. Niantic. Did. Niantic did. Niantic. So Pokemon So these are these are two separate things. Yeah. So basically Dynamaxing was a thing a long time ago, so you can't really say it was quick to bring Pokemon Go over because they had the initial idea before it was even set in place. Yeah. So Dynamaxing was the thing before any comparison because that was when the game was in development when they said that. So okay. That's pretty crazy as it is that it built out that far back, you know, that they needed something like that. But yeah, so you you could battle each other in raid, in battle each other. You could battle Pokemon in raid battles with your friends and you can capture them. It doesn't say that, like, Josh asked me if it's going to have, like, better IVs or hidden abilities. That's probably what they're going to have. That's probably cool. Because, you know, finding Pokemon with hidden abilities is already a fucking pain in the ass. You'd rather have to have someone who randomly found it and then breed it to get it. Or, fu- 
out to do what everyone else does in Hackadoon. So. <laughs> and then uh, it'll probably also be another way to get a, another set of all the legendaries. I think. I think all, all the the thing you're the only thing you're gonna get from Dynamaxing is maybe like special moves. That'd be cool. Cause, uh, cause if it's if you if you if you're able to do it in like the base game before before you fight the champion and everything, then there's no way they're gonna give you something that's like fucking busted. You know what I mean? Well, like Dynamax you're not gonna. They're like, oh, like fuck Betty bad. Like, oh, here's uh, there's Dynamax <laughs> Pokemon. When you catch it, it's gonna be like ten levels higher than all the rest of your fucking Pokemon, you know, because it was huge or some shit, you know. Yeah. So I, I don't I don't think they're gonna give you anything like super crazy from it. I feel like if you catch your Pokemon in um, the blades, I feel like it's gonna match your it's gonna match whatever Pokemon. Yeah, is. maybe maybe. Because I don't think it'll be like a super strong Pokemon. It'll probably just match where you're at in the game. I'm pretty sure they can match that. Yeah. And the hidden ability is probably the best thing because I don't think you're going to get moves because you could, they could even say, oh, these are just boosts for that because you can't boost for any, any, every Pokemon breeds with each other basically. So I know for a fact from breeding Pokemon. But you can get a Pokemon boost for any, anything. So it's probably, it's probably like hidden abilities, which will be cool because it, like I said, it is hard to find Pokemon with yeah. abilities at all. I'm still trying to find Sun and, um, Sun and Moon. So yeah, so that's the gimmick for this game. I mean, for me, I feel like I because for instance, you can only use this in the gym areas and in because you don't even do it when you do raid battles. Yeah, you, you just fight against the Pokemon that is Dynamax. You can Dynam you can, one person can Dynamax in a raid battle. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's more it's more of a strategic thing because when you do raid battles, they said that the Pokemon is gonna have like. Uh, like, because obviously fucking four people <coughs> gets a Dynamax Pokemon. It's easy. You know, you're going to win. So the Pokemon is going to have this stat and, like, some kind of new things, like, basically resistance against you. Uh -huh. And then you play strategic, and then one Pokemon can Dynamax where everyone supports it, and then that does that. And then it only lasts for three turns. I don't know if it gets stat changes or anything, like, a boost uh -huh. thing like, like Megas did. But well, it, I know it gets new moves or something, right? Yeah, it, well, it's not new. Yeah, I guess you could say new moves. Yeah, the Dynamax move, which is like, I don't know how. It's just like, um, it's like a stronger move. It's like a Z yeah, move. Yeah, they like augment the moves that you have. But it's yeah. not like a one-shot kill like Z moves are. And it's not as broken as Megas are. Which is like a balance, I guess you could say. But it's, but well, I guess I could talk to you about the other stuff later when, at near the end. But, but yeah, so that's what Dynamaxing is. And I guess we can go into, what I said was next. <laughs> We did Dynamax, we did Raids. We, we did, did Raids, we did the Pokemon region, we did the Pokemon, we did the characters. I guess we can go into what I did on Nerd Nonsense. Oh, yeah. Oh, so, yeah. So, really quick, on the Nerd Nonsense I did, um, I said that if we get a certain amount of views and stuff, that I will talk about it with Manuel and Josh, because at that point in time, we couldn't all get together to record, and I thought it would be easier if I just did it by myself. But you guys hit it with, how much did you have? It had like 57 last 50, count. 57 last time we checked before we started recording. So I guess we, I, I won't have much to say. We could just, well, I could just tell you what it's about. Yeah, just. In e, the E3 at a Nintendo Treehouse, they said that, uh, Matsuda said that not all Pokemon will be in um, the Gala region. So if you transfer Pokemon from Pokemon Bank or Sun and Ultra Sun and Moon to the bank to Pokemon Home, if you try to transfer those Pokemon to Galar, if they're not in the Galar Pokedex, they can't come to the game at all. Meaning they're not in the game. So, and that, that, and that was also when he said that there probably won't be any games in the future where you could have all the Pokemon. Yeah, and yeah. it's pretty crazy because when I heard, that, like I said in my no nonsense, if you haven't seen it, go check it out. Even if you already heard this, I guess we're gonna talk about it again. Doesn't matter. Um, when I was at work. I was, I was pretty upset. Like, it ruined my whole day because I was just like, I can't get all my Pokemon. And so I did that about it. So I, I, I can't let you guys talk about your two cents about it since I already did it, basically. So you guys could, how do you guys feel I, about I, that? I, I, I don't know. I, I can kind of understand why they would do that. Like, from like a creative design limitation, I understand that having like so many of these like things available mm -hmm. would create like a, like a, like a hard like a hard environment to design around, you know what I mean? Mm. So where it would it would create new design space for a new region where they could design a new Pokemon that resembles an older Pokemon, and because that Pokemon's not going to be in this game, this Pokemon can kind of take that role. Mm. You know what I mean? 
uh, or maybe they designed two or three Pokemon that or resemble that other Pokemon in one or two ways, you know, and 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 so I can kind of understand that there, but it really does break the spirit of what Pokemon is, like because you know their slogan is "Gotta catch them all." Like it's it's a it's a game about collecting. Yeah. You know that's like a that's like a key aspect of it. Mm-hmm. I know most of the like the the like the expert players are like, oh, I want to breed the best Pokemon and this and this mm-hmm. and that. But like being able to like collect all these things has always been a thing. Like, and that's always been like one of their driving forces in getting people to play this game. And, and you know, and and the reason why they split it up into two games, like, oh, some are in this game and some are in that game. You know, mm-hmm. you're gonna have to like trade and talk to people. You know, and that's part of the social aspect of it. Yeah, uh, I didn't even get to mention that in my video how how just having trading Pokemon that you don't have with other people is an experience in itself. For yeah. Like the community. Yeah, and so, and just not being able to do that, it, it, it just, do, it does kind of suck, you know, because, and then, and then it's going to be, it's going to be worse for specific people because it's like, wait, one of those Pokemon is probably going to be, so it's going to be somebody's favorite. Mm-hmm. Of yeah. course. It's going to be somebody's like number one fucking Pokemon and then they're not going to be able to play with it. And that's got to fucking suck. For them, like, if I find out, like, oh, if they're like, oh, um, I don't know, like, Lucario, Lucario's not in the gallery, you know, I'm like, oh, fuck, fuck, I, that's, like, one of my top ones, like, oh, um, fucking Electivire's not there, I'm like, shit, mm-hmm. Gallade's not there, fuck, <laughs> mm-hmm. you know, like, it's, it, it'll be a little disheartening, you yeah. know, like, I, I guess, I guess there's, like, the room to say that, like, y- it gives you room to find new favorites, mm-hmm. but it still, it still feels like a little, like, Exclusionist, like it feels like you're you're leaving people out. Yeah, unless they're buffing Pokemon stats, then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean. <clears throat> yeah, so what about you, Josh? You um, think? I'm you know I, I'm really disappointed in even hearing that they could be considering this. I know nothing's final yet because uh, I remember you saying they kind of backtracked on it. The, you oh know, yeah, Monsada basically said that. I didn't say it was going to happen. I just saying, said that. Yeah, he's saying it could happen, and it's like I, I just. I, you know, like I said, I, I'm really disappointed that they would even consider it because, you know, it's kind of like what Manuel said. It, it, the the slogan for the series has always been, got to catch them all, not got to catch some. Mm-hmm. Because even in other games where they didn't feature the entire Pokedex in a game, you could still trade to get the other Pokemon. Mm-hmm. So, like, you know, in the original Red and Blue, one of them had Growth, the other one had Vulpix. Vulpix. Mm-hmm. You could trade with you know, a person who had the other in order to help complete your decks. Mm -hmm. But now they're saying that this isn't, you know, if they do it this way, that won't even be possible. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't even bring the Pokemon that they won't have in the game into the game. Mm -hmm. And it's like that, that kind of pisses me off as a fan because, you know, I want to be able to bring some other Pokemon that, you know, once I'm done with the main game and it, it goes to sitting there and I, I know I normally don't do competitive or anything like that, but you know, when when you and I finally end up battling each mm-hmm. other at some point, I want to be able to use my fucking level ninety nine Mewtwo against your ass. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and see, and see, like something else I was thinking, it, it would be different if they said that you can't transfer Pokemon from Pokemon Home to get ga- to to Sword and Shield if it's not in the Galar decks, unless you had registered it into the Pokemon game from like some other way, like if they made that Pokemon available through like. Like one of the Dynamax battles, or mm-hmm. or from one of those like weird areas where like random Pokemon show up, or, or that or that thing they did in um in in uh, Sun and Moon, like the radar or whatever, or something like that. Oh, yeah. That gives you options to add those Pokemon to to your game, or like oh yeah, yeah, so we're not gonna let you cheat in those those Pokemon into your decks by because you, know, you already had them from another game. Like no, you have to find it first, yeah, and then you can get that Pokemon. That yeah. would be like understandable, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, cause it, it's like a little bit of a barrier, but it's not like, oh, you can't have your fucking favorite Pokemon. It's like, no, you need to like actually register it first, and then you can get that Pokemon from the from and, the. From and the here's the thing, thing too, you know, I can understand, you know, not having every single Pokemon available right from the get go mm-hmm. when you start a new game, uh, because I can understand wanting to highlight the new Pokemon of your new region. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know that that's that is completely understandable to me, but you cannot tell me that. The only reason they would do something like this is because it, it would be a personal reason. Mm-hmm. You know, they would actively have to choose that they are not going to put all the Pokemon in the game because it, it, you can't tell me it would be some kind of uh, technological limitation. 
Because even with the little little ass game cartridges that they put them on now, you can fit the entire fucking Pokedex in it. Mm-hmm. Okay, there, there's no there, there there hasn't been a problem with that in years. As a matter of fact, I don't think there's ever been an issue with it. it no matter how many times they've expanded the Pokedex, no matter how many new Pokemon they've added, they've never had an issue with going to a national dex at the end of the game. And I think that's exactly what they should continue doing. Sure, you make some of your, you know, maybe you highlight some Pokemon uh, from other gens that maybe don't get a whole lot of uh, uh, push normally. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, you push your new Pokemon. But once the game is completed, you should open it up. Like, I'm not yeah, saying, like, like you every... know, once again, I'm not saying you, you have to make every single Pokemon available in that one game. But make it so to where you can have friends who have the two different copies sit there and trade and complete their Pokedex. Make it possible to complete, you know, I know this is, this, uh, what are they talking about? Somewhere close to about 100 new Pokemon this time around? Yeah, Yeah. rumors, rumors. So that's going to push us up, uh, what, over 1,000 total, finally? Is it? There's 800-something Pokemon now, so if we, so if. We get a hundred something that might push us over. Yeah, so we're gonna be pretty close to a thousand. And Nintendo um, and, and Game Freak has always been scared of reaching that thousand point because you can see that when we almost hit it, a lowland forms came out, which isn't new entries. They're right, the same it was just numbers, variations. Yeah, variations. And, and I I thought that that was a good. Um, I thought that was a cool. A idea. good middle yeah. space between new Pokemon and. I mean, some of the forms didn't necessarily make sense, especially for the region that they were in. Uh, ice Vulpix? What Mine. the fuck? Mine. There's, there was an ice region there. Oh, yeah. Okay. Whatever. Yeah, yeah so... It's, I, a, the, it's whole... But, it, I mean, the region is supposed to be modeled after Hawaii. Yeah, well, you know, some crazy shit happened. Where's in there ice in Hawaii? On top of a really tall mountain, apparently. So, <laughs> where's that so, really tall mountain in Hawaii? So, you're yep. gonna you're gonna say Ice Vulpix, but you're gonna ignore the fact that Alolan Raichu became Alolan, got Alolan for... Became psychic because he was camping. We're gonna ignore that. <laughs> That's not what happened. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Alolan, Alolan Raichu got its psychic power. Raichu got a psychic power for eating too many, too many. Um, I no, you're those fucking pancakes. lying to me. No, there's a. I whole, want some of those fucking hold pancakes. On. There's a, there's, hold on. Go ahead, hold look on. it up. Oh, I gotta look up. There's the a whole episode. Media. There's a whole episode dedicated. Hey, no, listen. The anime, the anime does not count. It's in the, <laughs> it's in count. the thing too. That's where it came from. Yeah, look up. Let's, let's look up the fucking. Bullshit. Yeah, there's no, there's no lore of how he got psychic powers, <laughs> but. Well, you don't just, it's just, it's just how a fucking Pokemon evolves. Like, it, it doesn't, there doesn't have but to I be, mean, like, a certain Lord, reason. I mean, for other at least with, lo- with Raichu's uh, look, though, it's believable because he's, it's like he's riding a surfboard. Yeah. Okay, that's and common. That's, yeah, that, you looks, know, ice, that looks right, yeah. Um, but Ice Sandshrew and Sand Slash and Ice Bullpix so and cool. Ninetales, that makes no sense to me. But there's now, still... the, the, well, the fire... Well, because there was a... There, there just was an ice area there. Yeah, what so was they, it? What, was, to what did that. Marowak into be? Into ghost becoming? and fire. Ghost fire. Ghost fire. I can, I can understand that. You've got it should have been ghost. Yeah, it should have been ghost see, type already. And honestly, and see, because <laughs> yeah, that's what makes it. It was a shout out to. That. I mean, it's literally where in the, the lore, skull, it's dead. Mother. In the lore from the Lola Marowak is that Cubone were brought into Alola, and their habitat wasn't uh, was there for um, was being attacked by grass type and stuff like that. So it be, I don't know how, but. Basically, it adapted and became a fire. ghost fire type. So, so completely unaffected by grass type. Yeah. So and then we, <laughs> and it had like the whole little. Thing okay. There. Okay, Ted. So I'm reading it. I'm reading it. So it doesn't say that's the reason. That's just a, that's just a, an old tale because it's like oh researchers don't know why Alolan Raichu is like this and the people of Alola don't fucking care and so their their reason is like he ate too many pancakes fuck it yeah but it's still, not like it's not like they believe that it's not like yes but pancakes, pancakes give you psychic powers but still, I want some of those damn pancakes. it's just it's just a it's just a, at, it's just a it's just a like a fairy tale yeah but if you look at all the other descriptions everyone else has like an adaptability or a change of region like muck yeah. basically the muck the muck like were used as okay, and that I can understand too because with all the tourists in Hawaii, there's a lot of fucking garbage. And the in the in the lowland um in the lowland Rattata, basically, um they they were the kings of uh, they were regular Rattata until they brought um Donald Trump from a different reason. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking uh, oh the the young goose or whatever the young goose and uh, yeah the young goose and they brought him from another region and it was a, a day it was a um, what's the mountain my phone what is it called 
I'll, I'll be getting up there. Uh, I don't know. I fucking don't know. Day, it was a daytime fucking hunter. Yeah, I don't know the name. Yeah. And so, since it was a daytime hunter, it stopped the ratata. But when nighttime came, it was nocturnal. Uh-huh. It would be asleep. And so the ratata is only time we'll be able to go at night to get the stuff and we came back like to the job. So yeah. a lot of yeah, so there's that. And I don't know how we got onto this. But anyways, basically I don't know it's, how, it's I don't know how well, it's, ratata it's, weren't nocturnal to begin with because rats are naturally nocturnal. Because I don't know. Anyway, so the the the, the, the regional variations were a good middle ground between new Pokemon and and you know, just using old Pokemon because then you have some some familiarity but also some differentiation and it's that's fine because we honestly I don't know if we should have a fucking a thousand Pokemon I don't think we should mm. I, I, I really I mean why not I, I really I don't know because then would it really be such a bad thing yeah because creatively we're gonna run out of fucking ideas we're gonna run out because there's honestly only so many animals in the world Dude, until we start until we start making we'll the same the same fucking like <laughs> thing again anyways we're gonna end up with yeah but i mean how many times have they essentially reused the same idea already I want, I want to say how many I, different I dog type say, pokemon are there i wouldn't say say use the same idea like there's not a copy of another pokemon that looks the same but they are like no so like frogs birds dogs, yeah, dogs. but that you've but got they're not different copying breed, you've got but, different but, breeds of dogs you've yeah. got different breeds got of corgi. birds You've got different. You're not mad about the corgi, are you? I'm not mad about the corgi. <laughs> you know, you've got different breeds of reptiles, of yeah. other mammals. They didn't copy. Uh, but, they didn't so copy all you got to do it's it's gonna become a point where it's it stops being like because there's a difference between like a dog and a wolf, you know, and then like a lion, and these are like just very different animals. And then we and then because we're, we're gonna start being where we where we almost are, where it's like oh well, this is a slightly different wolf. This is a this is a red wolf, and be you know, and it's 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 just it's I just feel like there's that we're gonna we're gonna run out of design if space. If they if they do it if they do it right, it still would be fine. Yeah, for instance, like the whole thing, like uh, there are different breeds of dogs, and they have been good, and then they're like like for instance, like Haunch Crow, and then the, the new Corv Knight, it's not a crow, it's a raven, you know, it's like, mm. and then we have um like the 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 frogs, like there's a a Polytoad, Polytoad, uh, Polyrath, Timpole. Um, Palpatode, they're all different types of toads of evolution. Like, yeah. you have Poliwag, which is a Poliwag, fucking uh, Polytoad, which is a frog yeah. itself. Palpatode is a frog as well, but it started as Tadpole, and then you got the little, not like what um, Poliwar was, but it's like a, before that. Yeah. And then Palpatode is a huge toad, mm-hmm. which is a toad itself. It's so it, they're pretty good at not basically saying... Right. They wolf, have wolf, wolf, wolf. And I, and here's they the thing have too. been so far, yeah. but it, we're gonna reach a point. We're gonna reach a point where there's n- like nowhere to go anymore. They're gonna be so far so. out, and then we're gonna stop. I don't uh, it, so, so either what's gonna happen is we're gonna get like really generic things, or we're gonna fucking leave like the the Pokemon design space altogether. We're gonna end up with some crazy shit like they have in Digimon. And, and, like that's in that, in that sense, we're already doing it because like the whole thing about Dreadnought and Corviknight and all them. A lot of people when they first seen it said that oh these don't even look like pokemon and then actually it's setting in like wow these are pokemon mm-hmm, like yeah. people it, well, it's, it's I, like I, I know cool the feeling. reason the reason behind that is just because the the lead designer changed within the last few years and mm-hmm. you can kind of see like from from an artistic standpoint you can kind of see the um where where the core design like where where their uh where their attention was was made mm-hmm. is like different like with uh the one the one i remember seeing was a comparison between Vulpix and like Zorua mm-hmm. where Vulpix kind of they the focus was, was on like a semi-realistic looking thing but like with with not something new like Zorua it's got like a big ass head for some reason and mm-hmm. like it doesn't look entirely realistic but it looks cute you know and so like that's where that's where the design focus is now is on something that looks like stylized and stuff mm-hmm. you know and so it, and so the further we go in that direction the more people are gonna see the new Pokemon and not recognize them as pokemon you know because i think the, the design the, the design philosophy is just a little bit different i think they'll recognize them as pokemon i just don't maybe they won't make the connection to whatever uh real world animal they're associated with right yeah. away and we're seeing a lot more pokemon not being even animals or anything as well we got like trees we got, we've got keys we, we got literally keys. have a sword and shield well, they're not a sword and shield. It's a wolf with a sword. No, they're, no, they're no a there is literally. Oh yeah, a I just sword slash. And shield. I forgot about I just slash. Well, yeah, because those are yeah. So and that's and that's and that's 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 because there, there's 
there where we are, there is still some room for stuff. That's what I'm. I I will say that we still have some room, but we will if we keep going. We will reach a point where there's no room anymore, I don't and we're so. gonna get not, very watered down things. I don't. Because so. if you look at anything, anything that goes on way too fucking long, it gets watered down. It gets repetitive. It gets fucking boring. And then at some point, new life gets breathed into it. Some people can argue that it's already happened with Pokemon at a couple of different times. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people said that. Like I have no. I have no problem with any the, new like, Pokemon. I'm gonna, there, I'm gonna like sorry. all the Pokemon, no matter what it is, because I I really don't say oh I hate that Pokemon. Yeah, I know a lot of people say oh a lot of Pokemon are dumb, but I haven't like I never said I didn't like any Pokemon. Mm-hmm. And then at the same time, if they stop making new Pokemon and then they start reworking and giving different forms to other Pokemon, that'll be cool in a sense for it too, because then that evolution adds up. You said yourself, which is cool as well, because I I'll be cool as long as it's different typing and shit. Like I really don't give a fuck. Yeah. Because as long as it's not something different. Because I'm pretty sure everyone was waiting for, like, mega fucking Typhlosion. So, like, they come out with a new Typhlosion that's different typing because of evolution. And that's even cooler. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And and the thing, too, though, with the introduction of the Alolan, um, the Alolan evolutions or Alolan variants or whatever you want to call them, mm-hmm. um, you know, that, that can help them, too, now. Because I think there was a mention about certain Pokemon having a regional variant. For Galar. Yeah, there's leaks and stuff from 4chan. Or other I mean, nothing's yeah. confirmed yet, obviously. Yeah, nothing's confirmed. But, but yeah. I, I, like I said, that's – that's it, it would be better so for them could, to do that than they to could keep trying to They could use that to kind of stave off the whole yeah. lack of creativity. But what I was going to say was um, there were a lot of people that – if I remember right, there were a lot of people that made a big stink about the, the Pokedex for the 5th gen. Which was? Uh, black, white, and black, white, okay. uh, black, two. black, two. Black, two, black, two. <laughs> and then, of course, they did the same thing when uh, Sixth Gen came around with Kalos region. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're different. Cause I know Fifth Gen was probably the biggest Pokedex we got in a while. Mm-hmm. Sixth Gen was low, and then. But wasn't I right though that it was it was Fifth Gen that people were like, oh well, the creativity is just gone. Yeah, because there was ice creams and all sorts of stuff. There were cool Pokemon in there. I'm not gonna lie, like it was good. Yeah. Like, the region was good in whole, but, like, there's some Pokemon that a lot of people were upset about. So, yeah, of course, everything goes through a little bit of a lull here and there, but then it, it gets reinfused with new stuff. Yeah, still, a lot of people still say 5th Gen is probably their favorite. A lot of people are saying mm. that, yeah. So. Yeah, Bla- if, you know, from what I've played of, of, uh, of Black and White, they, they were probably, you know, since the my first time playing through the 1st Gen games, probably my favorite games of the series. So, really quick, so this won't be, like, super long, so I want to just talk about, about, not just the fans, but now I want to talk about the Pokemon community, like, PokeTubers and stuff like that. There's a split even there. There's half of them who are using, mm-hmm. using the hashtag, uh, uh, bring back the national decks, and there's the other half who really don't care, because uh, Metamexus, the person I watched, he basically said something I didn't even think about, because I mentioned it in my video mm-hmm. about the competitive side, and he was like, people who are saying competitive... You guys should already know that we can't use all the Pokemon anyways because some of them are banned. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Some of them are like we can't use. And yeah, but keep but it lively. but that for competitive should only should should be its own pocket. Like the main yeah. base game yeah. should be for everybody. So when you make that decision for this game, you're making it for everyone. Competitive in a competition, the, the whoever runs that competition can make those decisions, mm-hmm. and it only affects the the competitive players. Yeah. But when the designers say we can't have these Pokemon in this game, everybody has to deal with the consequences of that. Right. You know. So if if it is if it's if that's where this design choice comes from, it's it's bull. It's bull crap. Yeah. Because you know yeah. honestly, because like competitive players, you know, all fucking power too and whatever, but they can put those stipulations on themselves. When they when they do competitive stuff, and we shouldn't have to like bear that. For and them. you know me, my opinion is essentially coming from a person who yeah. doesn't play competitive. Yeah. And I'm saying that if they don't have some kind of national decks at the end of the game, mm-hmm. it's you know it's gonna piss me off. Yeah. I mean, it's not gonna piss. Uh, here's the thing, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be dead honest here. It's not gonna piss me off to the point to where I'm not gonna get the game. Of course, I want to play the game. Mm-hmm. I love. I mean, what was it? When we when we started hanging out uh, heavily again, uh, about what four or five years ago, mm-hmm. you you're the one that got me back into it. I hadn't played a Pokemon game in like fifteen years. Yeah, 
And then, like, uh, I talk about competitive in my part, but, like, I never played championship. So, another thing that I didn't mention is that it's, like, if I don't have those Pokemon for competitive, it's hard that it is. So, if the Pokemon, like, end up growing, like, some Pokemon do grow, yeah. it's kind of like a release because then maybe you can, I can actually go and do one. You know what I mean? Because you can see it. You yeah. Because you'll always see it. You'll always see it in someone's different perspective. Because, I, I, like, I told the people in my video, I did, I played competitive. But I used the rule sets and the, the bands and whatnot. But I never went to a championship. Mm -hmm. But, like, in that sense, like, it's hard to even go there because you need those Pokemon. Because I don't hack at all. Everything I have is bred from scratch. Right. Yeah. So if if I don't have those Pokemon, then I can't go. But if the Pokemon go, like, those ones go and they're not there, maybe it'll be easier to go with Pokemon I do have. A lot of people see it that way as well, that, you know, sometimes you need a fresh breath of something. Yeah, but that's oh. that's still such a niche part of, yeah. of the fan base. Yeah. That, that most people who are into Pokemon are into Pokemon. If they're into Pokemon still, it's because of how they, they play it, how they used to when they were little. Mm -hmm. You know, like, I, I'm not I'm not going to shame the competitive players for being competitive players because, like, I'm in several communities that are like that where there's <laughs> there's always going to be a competitive side where people want to win, people want to do the best that they can. That's fine. If you if you can if you can find a way to do that within a game, absolutely more power to you. But like I said, the the the, the core base game shouldn't cater to, to just them. If that if because it never was for them, Pokemon was not a competitive game. It's not made for competitive play. It's a game that people play competitively. If that makes sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, it does. Um, but I I totally agree with what you had to say. You know, they can impose those rules at the tournaments. Yeah. You know, they don't have to sit there and just say, oh, well, you know, we're not, you know, adding these Pokemon into the game because we want to try and make competitive more competitive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, impose rules at the tournaments. Don't screw over everybody. Yeah, because cause let's, 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 so one of the one of the competitive uh, uh, scenes that I'm in is, is Magic. They aren't going to stop printing cards because they can't be used in competitive play. They can be used in casual play. They can be used in other formats, right. like uh, other other rule sets. There are plenty of rule sets, and, and I know this for for even Pokemon competitive. There's plenty of rule sets to play. There's like a baby one. There's like uh, you know where you where you play with like Pokemon that are like level five or whatever. There's plenty of different like variations of, of competitive play that you can already do. And so if they want to like take Pokemon out randomly, you know for a, like a competition, or like oh we're gonna run a roulette and these six Pokemon can't be used in mm -hmm. this one competition. And that'll refresh competitive play. So mm -hmm. that's something they want to do. Yeah. They should do it. You know, so if, if, if the competitive people are like, like, oh, hey, that's, that's you know, that would spice up, you know, the, the gameplay all around, mm -hmm. we should do that ourselves and not, you know, not rally behind Nintendo doing that. Right. Yeah. You know, it's gotten to the point where, like, you know, I know we talked about them backpedaling and stuff, but Cerebi is even on updating a list of confirmed Pokemon that they seem to direct and screenshots and stuff from the demos. Mm -hmm. There's 176 Pokemon counted for already from screenshots, mm -hmm. demos, gameplay right. as well. So it's like, it reminded me of um, Endgame when they were looking at Wonka, like, have you seen me posters? Yeah. That's what I was like, man, it's that crucial right <laughs> yeah. now. Yeah, it really and is. I mean, <laughs> you, you, you gotta figure that the, ge the the demos that they've shown us and the gameplay they've shown us is probably somewhere in between, you know, the first 15 to 45 minutes of gameplay. Yeah, yeah. it's not that much. Yeah, so... Well, well, yeah, when you're talking about a game these days, yeah. you know, you're talking about spending hours of gameplay. Yeah. So we'll move on from this, but yeah, because that's a lot of good stuff. Well, I think that's the last thing we're gonna talk about. Yeah, I think well, that was no? it. Yeah, well, there's more I want to talk about. Oh, okay. Basically, what else? basically, I just want to talk about the leaks that have come out that confirmed a lot of stuff. Cause I know I told Josh about the the Chinese Riddler, which is basically I don't know if I told you. Yeah, that. yeah, you did. You did. Yeah. So basically, yeah. um, I don't know. There's a guy before the Nintendo Direct came out and before. Cause hap this happens a lot with Nintendo stuff specifically. Yeah. Where somebody come out and just say someone, all these bold some, ass fucking claims, some, someone and everybody's like, yeah, it's gotta be. And everybody's on like, the inside. like, yeah, right, sure. And then as slowly as Direct's coming out, they're like, wait, yeah, wait. <laughs> yeah. For instance, um, someone called Dynamaxing before it was shown, mm -hmm. and uh, it was a week before, or the post was made a week before it came out. Yeah. They talked about Dynamaxing. They talked about. Um, the rival being named Hop. They talked about um, Gigantamaxing, which hasn't been shown yet. 
Yeah. But a lot of people were like, oh, that's probably fake. They talked about um, Nessa. We didn't know who Nessa was, and then at E3, we found out who Nessa was. So that leak was good. They also talked about original variants, one being Farfetch, getting a new form, and it's being called Surfetch. It's on the same link where all this other stuff was confirmed. So uh, there's a lot of stuff that is coming out, you know, basically com- confirming stuff. And then uh, one thing that was um, teased about, we didn't even talk about yet, was Armored Evolution. And we haven't seen any of that le- yet. Mm-hmm. But um, I, I don't know, a lot of people are talking about when they showed the Legendaries, which we haven't talked about yet. And I don't know yeah. how to say the names, but the two wolves, the sword and shield. Yeah. At the end of it, um, like they, you see the gust comes up. And uh, they look around like, oh shit, something's coming. They go back to back, and they both do this thing. Well, there's like a big shadow that falls over their meadow that they're in. Yeah, yeah and then they do this thing where they glow. It could be just a legendary thing. It could just be like, yeah, they're like power-up or yeah, whatever. Yeah, you know? but a lot of people are saying that, that they basically teased it. But I don't know, because there's not a lot left. Not, not a lot said about it, because mm-hmm. they don't even mention it in the bios or anything about them changing colors. But yeah, so there's a lot of leaks and stuff that's coming out. I don't know how, I'll, and I could be like, more nonsense about it when I hear about them, but at the same time, I wouldn't know if they're real until the game comes out. I'm trying to think of other things. Well, well, well that, mean, that stuff would probably be better to for you to do because then you can talk about it as it comes out. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, and then you can always if, if something else comes out a little later that either confirms it or or uh, um, debunks it, then you talk about that too. Yeah. You know so, that's we're you know. We, we we're here to talk about this stuff. Mm-hmm. We, you know, we not we're not always going to get stuff right, especially when we sit here and make theories about stuff that's unknown. Yep, that exactly. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, look at how many times Matt Peck gets shit wrong. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and he literally runs a channel called Game Theory and Film Theory and GT Live. Yeah, so he posted <laughs> um I think after all this came out. He posted, Although he doesn't necessarily do a whole lot of theory. He, oh, yeah, I forgot to talk about um, the same thing where they talked about Dynamax. They talked about, in the leak, they talked about Dynamaxing and Gimant- Gigantamaxing. And they said that in Gigantamaxing forms would change for Pokemon. That would be just for the interesting because then it's almost Mega Evolution. Yeah, almost. and it, it's like, it's not like. But then, but then, but will. Mo- will all Pokemon be able to do Gigantamaxing? For what Pokemon? I know, it's so far, it's... Um, you said like Pikachu, I think. Yeah, Pikachu, follow me. Lucky Lucky Pikachu. Pikachu. Hold on, there's a bunch of Pikachu. stuff. Pikachu! Okay, sorry, my phone stopped going for some reason. Uh, oh, here we go. Okay. Uh, the Pokemon Stadium stands include Gigantamax forms for Meowth, Pikachu, and Lapras. Lapras will have... Music notes coming out from the Pete shell. Pikachu will look like retro Pikachu, and Meowth becomes a long, stretchy cat. Long, stretchy cat. So at least it's not going to be oh, Garfield on us. Like the fucking. <laughs> what? It's like the fucking. It's the. It's this meme. It's this stupid ass meme. It's just called Long Cat because this guy holding his cat up, and when it like legs go all the way out, it's like oh. it looks just hella long. And you know, you know what? It's funny. That's the exact picture it has, but they put me outside because the Chinese really like to post. Oh, they're showing me right now. Yeah. It's like he likes to post funny things like the electric corgi is just a corgi with a Pikachu tail. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's also um But he got that right. He, he, he got did it get right. that right. And then um I mean not the fact that it's just a corgi with a Pikachu tail, but yeah, and that he got an electric, electric corgi. corgi. They also have they ha- um they also have a picture of uh Dreadnought and next to it is a different thing and it says that Dreadnought even has a gnarlier looking evolution. Which she has a like, if you know, we know Dreadnought has that like electric thing. I don't say it's electric, it's not electric, but it has the spike on his head. Mm-hmm. Well, now in the evolution, it shows like a big fucking knife going like oh, that. Fuck, so that. there's that. Ooh. Also, they teased the final evils. He teased the final evils. Uh, they're no middle ones. So they're has, all fighting type. So it has Grookey, <laughs> it has Grookey, and it has a question mark, and then it has a gorilla on drums. Yeah, okay. that makes sense. And then they have Score Bunny. Question mark, and then a humanoid bunny with a scarf around its neck. So, it has that. then it has, um, Sarble? Is that his name? Sobble. 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 Question mark, and then it has the the 007 spy in a chameleon hat. <laughs> well, because that's, that's its gimmick, is that it goes invisible. Yeah. yeah, so there's that. So it's going to be like some kind of fucking like, chameleon um, or something. Yeah, so then it also teases that Corgi will have, uh, Corgi. <laughs> fucking Yamper will have evolution. And fucking Corgi. His and Corgi. Talk, talk about regional evolutions as well. It says that Meowth will get another one where it's spiky. 
like yeah does Meowth really cat. need another one though spiky cat well if the pokemon don't come back maybe the alone form won't come back and need something <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah but um Galar and Foreign Meowth Persian plus a regional evolution for Farfetch'd which is so fetched. Um, references, references to Pelican type Pokemon. Yeah, because we already have Wingle. Yeah, pegs that Wing, Gallon, Rattata is probably the third legendary or the one that I'm just talking about. Um, probably gotcha. Etern- Eternatus. Eternatus? Yeah, there you go. But yeah. Does it, it have a gun? No. Damn it. <laughs> The Mexican. Why would it have a gun? Because there was like a sword, Mex- shield, and gun. Yeah, there was a. a Mex- that makes no sense no, thematically. No, no, it's because there was this Mexican newspaper who tried to talk about it, and they said that the third, they made a design for it and everything. That the third game was called Gun. Yeah, well, because a lot of people were saying that, that that's what the third game was gonna be fucking called, and then like yeah, so like uh, this one Mexican newspaper like took all that fucking the joke stuff because people actually made the um like the banner for it and like the symbol and everything. And it looks legit. <laughs> so funny yeah. oh god oh, when it happens dude you guys are gonna be fuck- what's the what then what's the the middle ground between a sword and a shield like what would it be well if, if you were going with something thematically a fucking for the, a lance a lot of people say dragon it either just, have just to be just a dragon the, just dragon yeah i, mean, I guess it could be because, a dragon because it's or medieval i mean not medieval it's basically going around what the fucking bow and arrow. uk is a bow oh shit. bow and arrow no <laughs> But it's, but yeah, it's going on. <laughs> Ballista. Got a point. Fucking musket. <laughs> <laughs> See? Gun. Is that, is that a fucking musket? <laughs> but yeah, so that's basically all that. that um, Yeah, so there's a lot of leaks and stuff that basically were confirmed off the thing. You know, one thing we didn't even see that and uh, when they showed the, 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 the direct, they showed the crowd of the, the gym, right? Uh-huh. There was this kid with um, a shirt. That had like a oh my god had a kid a ch- with a shirt that had a chipmunk on it oh right and then before that there was a leak saying there's a new chipmunk Pokemon that when you shake the trees it falls out because of the berries and then what do we see in the direct when they show the world that there's a person with a shirt with a chipmunk on it and then that you can shake trees in the open world place yeah huh. kind of like. What, Gold and Silver, I think he did that. And then Pokemon came out sometimes, like Blanco. Yeah, you can do that in Sun and Moon and Grass. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, let me double check. So, yeah, so that's basically it. That's one of those fun tips. But, yeah, so that's basically everything that we know of now. Tomorrow they're probably going to show something, and then, bro, the fuck, we got to talk about Do we that. have any predictions? Like, of predictions our own? Is, oh, uh, What's a Pokemon you think they're going to make? I, I don't want to do it because I already Okay, know. well, Joshua, yeah, what's a Pokemon <laughs> you think you're going to make? You're uninformed like me, so... <laughs> Um, uh, I don't, I don't know. To be honest, I can't, I can't really say. I'm not that creative when it comes to Pokemon. Ooh, I want a fucking raptor. Give me a raptor. Give me a raptor? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, bro. Why? What, just what, so what are their fossil Pokemon going to be? What do you think? A lot, uh, some people, Something hella oh, lame? They have, they have, they have <laughs> Something hella lame? We already got a T-Rex. Oh, bro. When I heard that, I was like, <laughs> I was so happy. Um, what the fuck, what the, could um, they be? It's just a fucking monkey. <laughs> it's just it's like a Neanderthal. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! You know what? They did talk about it. Well, there's, there's, there's not. It's like predictions that. Oh, um, no, that it'll be. See what you're um, starting. I know. <laughs> um, hold on. Let me see. Um, that it's gonna be. It better be fucking badass. A fucking it it, like be. a sloth, like you said. It becomes, a fucking sloth. How is it God badass? Damn we don't it. have a sloth. Damn it! <laughs> no, but it comes in. The, it evolves into like the Neanderthal thing. Oh my god! Damn. It's still not worth. Son our... of a bitch! <laughs> and they talk about and they talk about a um, a dolphin. A dolphin? A fucking dolphin? Oh, oh! I know what you're talking about. The 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 fucking this one in... the one in Land Before Time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, that one. I can't remember what it's called. Wait, yeah. there was a dolphin in Land Before yeah. Time. Yeah. Oh come on! I don't man. think I got yeah, that Yeah, it's far. the one with the light Florodon in it. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. I don't think I ever got that far. Yeah, well, it's because you're a scrub. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're not I think not I only got culture. to, like, five. <laughs> you're, you're not. You're, you're not <laughs> land before time culture. Yeah. I, I, I think <laughs> I. What do you mean? I grew up on land but before But you're not ride or die for land mean. before time. Do you know there were new ones in 2015? Oh, my God. There <laughs> were. No. no, they suck. I'm but, uh, sorry. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I still so watch the original. There's room about Falls. Yeah, yeah I, I would love a Raptor Pokemon. That'd be tight as hell. Yeah. But, yeah, but there, there are people saying that it's a sloth and a fucking dolphin. We haven't even have a dolphin Pokemon, so that'll be fucking cool. Do we not? Nope. I thought well, we, we did. Don't. What dolphin? No. 
But we have whales. We don't have a dolphin. Yeah, we don't have dolphins. We got fuck. Fish. We got fish, whales, all fucking octopuses, fucking. We got multiple octopuses and squids and squids. Yeah, fucking jelly, jelly fucking jellyfish. Dude, if it gave me a killer whale Pokemon, I would fucking. Oh, like a fucking orca. Yeah. That'd be tight too. That's that's basically my dolphin family. So yeah. Yeah. Killer whale. Let's go. Let's go. That'd be so cool. Orcania. That'd be so cool. I want it. There. I just did the naming process for you, Game Freak. Orcania. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I just hope the Pokemon is good. That's just my prediction. Well, uh, I mean, I'm not gonna play this game for like for two copyrights. fucking years, so uh, it's fine. <laughs> I'm gonna see everything play out before I ever fucking buy this game. No, I'll just buy it for you. Yeah, and then what am I gonna play it on? <laughs> the Switch. I buy it with it. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> that you have to repay him for. Yep. Yeah. He's gonna, he's, gonna, he's gonna fucking Tom Nook me for a Switch. <laughs> <laughs> I will deduct that from your pay. <laughs> Yeah, but that's everything. You better hope he never becomes your real boss. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> he might actually do it. <laughs> I can't do that if I'm his boss. Nobody has have. to know. I don't even run that. <laughs> Our job doesn't work like that. <laughs> but anyways, that's basically all the Pokemon stuff we wanted to talk about. And, um, yeah, that was it. And we will come back when there is more, which there will be yeah, some Hopefully, soon. probably sooner to release when we see almost everything. Yeah. We'll talk more about it. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, so really quick, I want to thank everyone. I understand that certain situations happened where we couldn't record and put stuff out. And uh, I appreciate everyone who did watch my videos, even though like, they were pretty bad. <laughs> like, basically, they were, like, short, and I had to do a lot of research. I need to, I want to watch it. Just, I want to see how fucking easy. I wasn't easy. I was cool I feel and like, calm. I feel like you... Yeah. I, I, was, I, I, mentioned, I, think, I, I think you texted me and I could like feel it. I could feel what you were Because about. I watched... <laughs> it, I, I said it in the video. I watched another video. I was cool and calm. I really spit... I really did. He, fucking, so, he did some yoga. And that's all yeah. Uh, so the reason we've had issues getting things recorded and uploaded is... is I'm going to uh, own up to this one. This one was my fault. Um, recently we had some uh, employee turnover at my work and... I had to work a whole lot of hours, but that doesn't excuse me from the lack of dedication I've had to this channel recently. Um, but everything's back now. I'm working on stuff. As you guys have seen the last several days, we've been getting stuff out to you. But I do want to give big props to Ted over here for stepping up mm -hmm. big time. And his last two Nerd Nonsense videos have done amazing. So Emmanuel did one with me. That was a man. I was I was present for you, something. <laughs> you do realize that, that that one still hasn't garnered even half the views. It got of one twenty of the views. Other. I don't want to hear a shout out to my twenty viewers. <laughs> twenty Yeah, but your last two have gotten over fifty apiece. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> so but no, uh, uh, you know, props to both of you guys for stepping up while I wasn't able to do anything. Um and, you know, I, I want everyone to know, everyone, not just you guys, but everyone who listens to us on a uh, episodely basis, um, that I am rededicating myself to this channel and we are going to get things right. I think we've already taken good steps in the right direction. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the, you know, uh, I know in today's episode, or well, not today's episode, but uh, in the episode that uh, went up. The, the Detective Pikachu review episode, uh, we talked about starting several new series and shows with the channel mm -hmm. that is going to be delayed for some time because we need to focus on this and getting mm -hmm. this off the ground and making sure. Yeah, there, there may be more nerd nonsenses, like I might do one. And I might do some here mm -hmm. too. Yeah. Just so we can, you know. I we taught can them how to do it on PlayStation, guys. It's yeah. going to happen now. Here we go. Well, that and plus, you know, the all the recording stuff is here at my house. So it's yeah. like I can just sit down and fucking bust out an episode real quick. Yep. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, so we are going to be bringing you a lot more content though. Mm -hmm. So we're, and we're going to be trying our hardest because I know there's, there's, no, there's going to be topics where not all of us either want to talk about it or know enough about to really talk about mm -hmm. where one of us knows a whole lot. Like I know when, like I, back when we did the, Ted the Star Trek episode, you weren't a huge, oh, man, uh, I told you when we first did it, anything Star Trek, I'm not there. You could talk about it, I'll be, so mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, so mm -hmm. future stuff yeah. on that, you know, we'll pro probably, uh, unless it's like a really big thing that all three of us 
uh, experience. Uh, future things on that will probably come from me solely. Yeah, when Manuel comes, I'm going to do Fraggle Rock. Everyone's going <laughs> to <laughs> There we go. <laughs> That's my yeah, episode. Yep, yep, Manuel wants to do Fraggle Rock at some point. Yep. Um, I don't know what it is about him and puppets. Uh, There's something weird okay. going on there. <laughs> <laughs> you leave my Muppets alone. Kermit's, Alrighty. Kermit's my homie. But, yeah, so um, we got a lot. A lot of good things happening here. Good stuff coming to you guys. And, hey, we've even got more episodes to record today. So we're going to get to that. Yeah. All right. And, uh, you know, don't always as always, don't forget to um, like, comment, subscribe. Let us know if you want the Pokemon here to stay. Are you cool with it gone? Oh, yeah. going to affect this? Yeah. What new Pokemon are you going to be here? Do you think a Sloth is a cool Pokemon for a Oh, fuck. We already have one. Oh, my God. We, we have, already have one. We have one. We have one. <laughs> Let us have another one. Prehistoric <laughs> one. Let Sid from Ice Age be a thing. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, you can find me on Instagram. You I can posted, find Nerd Mix I, on Instagram. I posted my first Instagram picture on that account today, so look for that. But you can find Come on, ner- catch me blowing up. You can find the group as a whole, Nerds Nerd Make Sense, on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, plus you can email us at nerdsmakesense at yahoo.com. Please do that. We want to hear from you guys. We want to hear stuff that you want us to talk about. Absolutely. Um, and um, other than that, until the next one, we'll see you guys later. Bye. Hasta.